hi there and welcome back to another episode at Station Road. Now today we continue on with the curved warehouse and we finally get it to a very much complete status. So where I left off in the last video, and there's a link in the top corner for that, there was still just a few more additions to be made to the actual structure itself, and that needed to be done before I could really get into any weathering. So the remaining component that really needed to be done was the area at the two-story end of the warehouse. So I may have mentioned the plan to have some steps that went from the lower main yard up into a smaller enclosed space which I'll actually call the workers entrance or workers yard and what I want to do was actually build that in and put a brick fence around that particular area. So the first thing that really needed to be done was to actually work out the steps that would lead up to this upper workers yard or workers entrance area and the tricky component to this of course like the building itself the steps had to be curved so I worked up a design on the computer and aligned it with the curve of the building so although these steps are quite a small area of that curved wall they still really needed a bit of a slight curve in it otherwise it might have looked a bit odd if they were straight. So the plan was just to layer two millimeter pieces of card together to create the steps and of course I put this all together on the computer and then laser cut each of the components out. I also actually indicated on some of the corners of each of these steps which would just indicate where I was going to drill a hole for some hand railing that would actually run down the side of the steps. So once all those laser cut components were complete then it was a case of gluing all the layers of steps together then it was a case of creating an outer wall which of course a brick texture material would be added to. Now I originally had laser cut that but once again I'd stuffed up on my measurements so I basically just glued a piece of card and then trimmed it once it had dried. So with the wee indications to drill holes for the handrails I just drilled them through with a very small pin vise into the card and then what I've actually used to create the handrails is 0.8 millimeter styrene rod and what I did is just poked in lengths of that into the holes in each of the steps that were going to have the vertical uprights and then trimmed a piece of card to the height of these uprights that I actually wanted to have and placed that card next to each of the uprights and just trimmed them off and that of course gave you a nice even height for each of the uprights for the handrail and then it was just a case of attaching the top rail and of course I used styrene cement to do this and it usually creates a reasonably strong bond and then once that was done I'd actually used a half round of rod and I think this might have been a one mil rod and that created the middle rail for between the verticals so I popped the steps in place just to make sure that everything was all fitting okay and then it was a case of actually working out the area for this workers yard or entrance to the building and it's a very peculiar shape and what I wanted to do is actually have the base of this layer actually wrap around the corner of the building so using a piece of paper it was a case of working that out drawing out a template for that and once I'd done that then it was a case of transferring that to some two millimeter MDF and cut that MDF out and then put that in place to make sure it all fitted snugly along with the steps. 
So I began adding some of the walls that were going around the small courtyard area and these will be finished off of course in a brick texture so it will become essentially a brick wall and then of course there was a little bit of extended brick wall that actually drops down to the lower main yard area as well. So with some of the 2mm MDF walls in place it was then a case of going over the steps and also this courtyard base area with just a blast of a grey primer and that just helped seal everything in and then of course once I'd done that then I could actually start applying some of the brickwork texture and of course in the courtyard area I decided to use some of the Metcalf cobblestone sheet because I sort of thought well that would probably work in with the era and maybe for that type of small courtyard and of course all the while it was a case of testing these components to make sure that the fit was nice and snug so with the area sort of completed around where the steps come up then it was a case of actually completing the other walls around the courtyard. I did actually trim off an area of the courtyard because I didn't really want to have the pointed triangular corner at the end. So that was trimmed off at a right angle which would be perpendicular to the street and of course the remaining walls were also covered in the brick texture and then once again put into place just to make sure it all fits and basically gauge how it all looked. So once I was happy with the fit for the courtyard then of course I glued that to the actual building itself and also glued in the steps as well. So that whole component plus the building plus this lift out section all comes out in one piece should I need to get underneath to sort out any trains or do any track cleaning. So the only other remaining piece that needed to be done before I could start weathering was sorting out the foundation on the rear of the building next to the railway tracks. So of course this area here is actually on an incline so I had to cut the foundation on an angle to suit the level of incline and it's certainly tidied up that side and of course ballast will end up butting up next to that foundation component. So with the structure of the building now fully complete including the wee courtyard and the foundation on the back I could safely get into doing a little bit of weathering. So I've gone through weathering processes in previous videos and the particular techniques and materials that I use and once again it's following along those lines where I just use ground up chalk pastels that I pop through the coffee grinder and then it's just simply a case of brushing on the powders. So I started initially just by weathering underneath all the window sills because I sort of felt that a building like this that would certainly gather quite a bit of grime under the window sills. So they got a little bit of extra special treatment. And then once I'd actually done that, then I started working with applying weathering powders really basically to the top of the building where I think grime and so forth would gather the most and then slowly sort of faded it out and worked it down the sides of the walls. There was also some weathering applied at the foundations as well because obviously grime would build up there too. So there were two powders that I used. One was just simply black and the other is a very dark brown and I certainly think it's adding a whole new dimension of life to this building. So once the weathering was all complete, then it was a case of sealing all that weathering in. And my go-to for that particular process is the Citadel Munitorium Matte Varnish. And it certainly makes for a great finish. It's possibly not completely matte, but unlike some other sprays that I've used of course they get this cloudy milky effect to them I've never ever had that problem with the spray varnish now it still has a slight satin sheen to it and when I completed the spraying of the building you could still see a bit of a sheen on the roof tiles which I wasn't overly happy with so what I've actually done on top of that is applied a thin coat of this ultra matte varnish by 
AK Interactive and this stuff is absolutely amazing if you want a true matte varnish then this is the stuff to use now I just brushed it on because you can just use a brush to apply it of course but you can also actually use an airbrush for this particular material as well so taking a look at the building now and it's certainly come together quite nicely I'm very happy actually with the outcome and now it's a case of moving on to some other areas So there we have it for this particular episode and like I said I can now move on to some other areas so I think while I'm kind of close to this curved warehouse I'll look at the lower main yard area and I think I'll actually use cobblestone there as well but it's going to be severely deteriorated it's going to be full of weeds and lots of junk and all sorts of stuff so I'll sign off for now do take care everyone look after yourselves don't forget to like and subscribe and I will catch you next time. Bye for now.